And um, or she looked happy. I don't know. How, yeah, I don't know how what to do with that. But uh, if she had the extra vagina, I'm like, well, she could have the extra vagina. I'm like, it would just be a head with a vagina. And I'm like, that is exactly what, what more could one really need? That's what every single professor of women's studies in college thinks men view women as anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even then, it's just boobs and a vagina. It's not even. Oh, a head. you know, what? I didn't even think of the boobs thing. I was just thinking head and vagina. But you're right. So it'd just be like a head with like a smooth pipe designed for penis. Well, not that a mouth is designed for penis. You, see, I'm just sounding terribly sexist, Pete. You're painting me into a corner here. No, I'm painting me into a corner here. Yeah, that's corner, uh, I'm painting myself into a corner with very sexist, inconsiderate yeah. paint. <laughs> but that's what we do here on That's Life Podcast. You're listening to That's Life, the podcast designed with your laughter in mind. So please sit back, relax, and prepare to be entertained. That's Life. Hey. And we're back. Yeah, yes, sirree. We're back here for a super late night oh, episode. Sort of spur of the moment. 89. 89. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were just uh, just working through some computer problems and uh, saw Pete was on the Facebook. And he's like, Pete's like, so what are we going to do? like, when? And I'm, when shall we uh, unleash the funny? And, you know, you're like, you mentioned Monday. And I'm like, well, we could do Monday. But I'm like, but I'm all backed up with comedy now. And I know you were backed up with comedy. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, if I can just get this damn printer to work, I can I'll, I'll throw together some show notes because I had some stuff yeah. st- set aside for weird news. And I was like, well, let's go out and unleash it. I was like, yes, yes, fuck it. So yeah, we, and then I get the Facebook message back like, all right, I just got to restart my computer because I had it set up for this. And then I got to go back and reset some other things and restart it again. I went, well, that sounds really complicated to print something. But hey, whatever you got to do, it man. sure is. It gives me time for like, I was like, cool, I'll get in like a quick game of the old Hearthstone. That was perfect timing too. Ugh, I should have just watched a video <clears throat> but uh oh, it was brutal we're totally back uh <laughs> yeah, yeah uh peoples and i'm ready to unleash some funny uh, uh so hopefully i uh, grease up your ear holes everybody oh yeah because we're gonna be sliding in the penis of hilarity oh yeah bareback baby i oh, made it yeah. gross so just uh impregnate your brains yes with or, the comedy sperms and or we jiggle can around spray it across their titties whatever they like hey face, or their, neck and chest i suppose or across their their man beard whatever on you the, know, on you the know buttocks. we're not saying we're not just we're open-minded unlike chick-fil-a you know it's whatever floats your boat in russia uh, and and like Russia or Nigeria or, or all the other terrible places. Yeah, I was trying to go. I was going for the Olympics thing. Oh, yes. But speaking of Olympics, let's go into our what's new. All oh, right. Pete, let's what's new it up. You watched, I don't know why, some Olympics. Well, the uh, it was more of a, a an accidental happenstance type of thing. I Lost was, the remote? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was um, waiting for uh, my friend Summer to show up to run to uh, the Wawa's, which is why the girl, when we stopped by, was like, you're back <laughs> i was like yes uh-huh. so um she was she's not the most punctual of women <laughs> she's, she's like oh yeah you know i'll be right there and i was like all right cool so i just threw on a jacket went outside and was like mm, it's been five minutes i'm fucking cold so i'm going back inside so i go back inside and the parental units had the uh the old olympics on because they were just watching it because yeah. and uh it was um two Two uh, new to the Olympics this year uh, events, and the first of which was, um, uh, what do they call it? Ice dancing. Wow, that... Which I was like, this is couples figure skating. Why are we calling it ice dancing now? Whatever they called it. Like, my mom and I are watching it going, "I, I don't know what we're looking at. I mean, I guess they're good. Like, there's... In sync and spinning around, well, dancing. And it's on guys, ice. They look kind of. I, I mean, guess it's challenging. This it had, like the first couple that was up. I was like, this chick's eye makeup is so dark. How the hell can she see? It's like two black fucking spots <laughs> she on just her threw face. A chimney so- into her eyeballs. Just, good looking woman. Just I'm like, how the fuck can? It's like, wow, my goodness. Like, I don't know. It's a really dark. Eye eyes have so much makeup on. You almost look like you're in black space on ice. It's weird. In Ooh. a black dress. I think I have an idea for a new ice capades. <laughs> the most racially insensitive ice capades <laughs> in the universe. Black face on ice. It'd be terrific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mommy, it's cold out here. <laughs> Just re- oh, baby. Oh, my. <laughs> Hello, my insensitive racial comments. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, gold medal, thing. gold medal. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and then um, and then the next event was uh, again new to the Olympics this year. Um, 
I forget skateboarding what they, on ice. What? Well, I forget what they fucking called it. Well, actually, yeah, it was snowboarding. It was like, oh, okay, it was fresh out the X Games snowboarding <sighs> with like uh, a, a freaking hole, like they had uh, jumps and and rails and all kind of shit. And I'm like, and everybody that was competing had just been at the Winter X Games like a month ago. And I'm like. They did this already. Why? What the? F- it's, what are we watching? I have a and it's, again, it's more stuff of like, all right, there's some dudes going about Mach five down it's, the side of this fucking it's mountain. It's an impressive athletic uh, feat. I couldn't no do doubt. it. I've been snowboarding. Yeah. I know what they do is dangerous. I'm just and saying it's not very awesome. entertaining for people who aren't doing I'm, it. I'm looking I at guess. my 60 year old mom, and she's just like. I guess that was good. Like, he spun around a lot in See, the air. That backs he my didn't theory. didn't shit. <laughs> my theory is once our parents' generation slough off uh, this mortal coil and go to the great beyond or whatever the fuck happens to you when you die. Yeah. Uh, go see the great flying spaghetti monster in the sky or Odin or whatever. Yeah. You know. uh, once this happens, the Olympics will just end because it our gets generation... more and more ridiculous. Yeah, our, but our generation, if... We, we want to watch snowboarding. We want to watch people like landing on the ground, breaking their nuts. We want to watch people like fly into a building and hurt themselves. Yeah, that's what you, we have what the YouTube's, YouTube's for. Yes. Yeah. So I, I, my theory is the Olympics will just get like the Miss America pageant will get less and less relevant <laughs> until the point where just like uh, just whatever, just and who gives a especially shit. Especially because the uh, it, the the Olympics cost a butt fuck ton of money to put on. Yes. The facilities are fucking shoddy as hell. I don't know if you've seen any of the pictures of the hotels. Yeah, Russia spared no expense. Yeah, oh. they put it all into the the stadium in the ice rink because the, the one reporter uh our little mini article I read said that the, he shows up to the hotel and there was no <laughs> lobby. Not that it wasn't done being built, not that it was like it under was construction. Zero lobby. There was no lobby at all. You enter and go into room. Yeah, all, all the rooms. Some of the rooms didn't have heat, no Wi-Fi, no electricity. No heat for Winter no Olympics water. in yeah. Russia. Just but do they the all man. had great little pictures of uh, the fucking prime minister. In was there. he on a Ritz cracker? Because <laughs> putting on the Ritz <laughs> was so uh, funny. You know, and I'm, no, I, that would have been amazing. I though. was so tired when I saw a picture of Putin. It was one of those shirtless riding a horse pictures that someone photoshopped. Oh yeah, on top of a Ritz cracker spinning it, so it's like a little gif, <laughs> and it says. Putin on, on the, the Ritz. <laughs> and I'm tired, so, so my brain's not connecting. I'm like, it's funny to see him on a cracker, but and I'm like, and I'm like, you know, and I like my brain started going, do, 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 And I'm like, I got the song in my head, and I'm like, why is the song in my head? And I went on, I scrolled down, and all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. I went back, and I'm like, oh, putting on the Ritz. And then I laughed like a retard for like an hour, a uh, minute and a half. That's, that's like an hour in computer time. Yeah, when you're that tired, it feels yeah. that long. That's yeah. funny. But that's my Olympics theory. It will yeah, disappear. So I don't really understand uh, the Olympics at all. <laughs> nope. I... Uh, I'm glad that no one in my house knows it's on right now because... They'd my, probably be watching it. My daughter loves watching the dancing and the acrobats and all that. Whatever the fuck else happens, she yeah. likes to watch it. And, you know, my wife will let them watch it because it's Olympics and whatever and they're quiet. Yeah. yeah. But I just, when it's on, I'm so fucking boring. I can't... St- I just... Oh, it's terrible. It's not football bad. It's not, like, intellectually fucking offensive. <laughs> right. And I understand it has a long tradition Back to ancient Greece. Extremely and long, yes. To me, that's awesome. It's like, and I know I should like this, being a snooty cunt, but then like I watch it and like a minute into it, I'm just like, I, I can't watch this All anymore. Right, nothing's I, exploded, nobody's died. Yeah, there's yeah. no plots. I right. just is this is can I watch the outtakes? Are there outtakes? Do they like hurt themselves? Well, no, that was they're... the thing I was looking forward to about the snowboarding thing because they're all too good to hurt themselves. That's well, the problem. no, some of them that's well part of it is um there was a couple people that were supposed to compete that dropped out because they said, no, the construction of this course is so poor. I've seen so many people eat shit in practice. <laughs> They're like, I'm not doing it because I'm not risking my life for this fucking oh, bullshit. Oh, Russia. This is, uh, this is, you know, Russia's kind of like that one friend that's like, you're going off to some event. Hey, I got this great idea. Just crash at my house. You want to go to Disney World? Yeah, Save all money. Awesome. You can crash at mine and you get there. And why don't we, or why don't we all, and there's no lobby. Oh, no, when I went with, uh, my wife's family had like a house in the Poconos and I'm like, yeah. they're like just go there and it was cool spending time with them at the house. She's like, we'll just sleep there and save more money. I'm like, okay. And like, the, so the first night, <laughs> yeah. uh, the first night, cause like when she's there with her cousins and growing up, they would all sleep in like the den. 
But when you're kids, that's cool. That's fine and all. It when you're space a, for children. Yeah, but when you're well, it, it, there weren't many children. This is like years ago. It's like six well, years ago. Well, I mean, ago, but I, I'm just saying, generally speaking, well, as a kid, when you take they're up children, less space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sleeping on a couch with your cousins is fun, right? So we go, and, and I get that, and, I'm, and we, and I'm sleeping on this couch on this like love seat with my wife. In this, in this, and in, 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 in I'm like, this sounds like it's awful already. And and there, and every square inch of the floor and furniture was covered with cousins, and they're all <laughs> awesome. Their <laughs> family is so funny; they're awesome. But I don't care how. I don't care if it's fucking Winston Churchill, and fucking uh, riding on a Ritz Socrates, uniform. and fucking I don't care who who George Washington. I don't care who how awesome these people are. I don't want to sleep in a den with them because I'm an adult now, right. and I want a room to completely to myself. Yeah, that's blanket forts are cool I and all, do. but uh, and I can totally afford this shit now. I got a job and everything. Like a grown up, right? So I'm just, <laughs> so like and like and it's like and I'm a second shifter, and the rest of them are all day shifters. Right. So, so five you're not trying to go to sleep at ten in the evening. Five o'clock. I'm awake all night. I, that part was kind of cool because it was all quiet, and I was reading a book, and it didn't matter to me. Yeah. It's just everyone got up at five. And they wake up, Ugh. and they're all like farting, and it's funny. And they 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 fart, they do like fart things to each other because it's funny because mm-hmm. they're cousins, and that's yeah, like that's a family what you cousin. do. Yeah. But I'm not cousin. I'm grown up who's now in a room because <laughs> at five in the morning when I got two hours sleep, and I'm de- and this is pre baby, so like my brain is not broken like it is now. Right. Well, I'm like two hours sleep uninterrupted. That's incredible. <laughs> but like back then, I'm like this, I'm I'm burning vacation days for this, and. And at five o'clock in the morning, like everyone got up and was just farting <laughs> and laughing about it. That sounds and then awful. like and I'm, and in between farts, I'm trying to fall asleep and then like the smell and then they they think that's even funnier, which is funny, but not the, on two hours sleep funny. Yeah. And then like and finally they're like talking shit and I just get up and there's like farting more and I finally just sit up and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and I'm just like looking around and I'm like, uh and I'm like a strange place, ate strange food all night. I'm like, uh early morning diarrhea. So I go, I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Here's a fart for you. But of course there's a line because there's one bathroom. Oh, and no. And so I'm just like sitting there, just my st- and my stomach's in knots, two hours sleep. I yeah. just, I'm covered in a layer of dust and fart vapor and I'm not <laughs> oh, liking gross. any of it at all. And I'm just like, this is terrible. Oh my God. Um, and I totally it don't remember where this. We got on Travelocity. Oh, yeah. So, so that's a lot like the Russian Olympics. <laughs> that's what we were talking I about. I forgot what we were talking about. Russia too. said, hey, you want to have the Olympics? Come over and have it in Russia. No problem. You can crash at my place. And all the Olympians are in this den and there's yeah. farts. <laughs> Russian farts. It smells like borscht and vodka. And it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> People are actually out there on the course because they want to break their legs so they can go home to a real hospital. Right. And it's just awful. Oh, so that's terrible. Yes, very terrible. Yeah, that's that's the Olympics terrible. in Russia. This is very good watch. You don't have heat, but farts keep you warm. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, it's uh, very bad. Reminds me of a thing I saw on Facebook because um, that whole Valentine's Day thing is coming uh, up. Yes. It was uh, Valentine's Day cards you could get from theoatmeal.com. Which, yeah. uh, if you've never been to the Oatmeal, it's a funny comic strip site, uh-huh. and uh, with an interesting art style. Kind of simple, but really hilarious. Gets the message across, and there are all these fucked up Valentine's Day cards. Like it goes, "Falling in love with you is like climbing into the ass of a tiger. Dangerous at first, but then you take me to magical places." <laughs> <laughs> and his oh, yeah, picture yeah, yeah. is all like I've seen crazy like this. They're fucking nuts. Another one's like. Like, uh, uh, being with you is like eating a bunch of caterpillars. It's kind of gross and weird at first, but then totally awesome when I shit out butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> like, <That's insane. laughs> and so things of that caliber. That was, that was kind of fun. Yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm. Yep, and uh, I am uh, trying to figure out what the fuck to do for, uh, for summer. Because I asked her... do something. Well, I asked her if she'd be cool... If, Doing something because this it's kind of a shit time of year for her because uh, uh, her and her baby daddy like got together initially on like the 11th or something. So like oh. that thing's coming up and he's a fucking scumbag and she hasn't talked to him in the past like eight months, which is good for her. Like she's done with this asshole and, uh, you know, otherwise I'd have to beat her to death. Um, but it's just like a, it's a rough time of yeah. year for her. Yeah. But fortunately, like the 11th is Tuesday or something like that. So we're going to hang out on Tuesday to keep her mind off of things. Good idea. And go out and do stuff. So I'm 
figure something out. But I asked her, I was like, hey, Friday after work, do you want to just like get food or do yeah, something? Eat, movie, just, something. You know, because she, she was lamenting the fact that normally her and a, another one of her single girlfriends would watch shitty chick flick movies and eat ice cream and just be like, yeah, hey, you know, how men suck and whatever. And she, it, she was saying, oh, I don't really have a single girlfriend at the moment. Ooh, like everybody's yeah. all either with somebody or I don't like anything female. And I said, well, that's a great segue because I was trying to figure out when the best time to ask you to do something well, on d- that day was. So uh, I could be your single girlfriend, yeah. except, you know, I have a penis. Well, yeah, there's that. But, you know, you can use that if you want. Well, yeah, um, you know, it's just for Valentine's Day. Right. Well, but I, I don't even have those intentions. No, like, you really I are just, just want to like spend time with somebody I enjoy. Cool. Yes. And, uh, just happens to be female makes it better because they smell better and eat less. So That's true. Well, I don't know. She eats a lot. For, well, a, <laughs> for, her, for a five, four hundred pound girl, she could put away some food. Five. She's tiny, dude. Foot four hundred pounds. Wow. That is pretty small. All right, I don't think she's 5'4", but she's, she's, she comes up to my shoulder. She's, oh, yeah. And is like 105 pounds, you know? Oh. I mean, she's a small little girl. Small thing, little thing, but yeah. She can eat. Like, oh, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so I'm thinking uh, about uh, coercing her into uh, doing a quick grocery shopping and then uh, let me cook for like her and her family or something oh, like that. Oh, that'd be nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, do uh, something fun. Married, Valentine's Day, you've got to do something. You know, and when you're married, never, when you've been married, I guess as long as I have, the pretense just become, you realize, you see pretense for what it is, absolute bullshit. <laughs> and, yeah. it's, and I know oh, my wife's jaw is still hurting her and stuff because she was going to go see the actual real specialist doctors that were going to decide things. Yeah. And then that was when we had that last blizzard. Oh, so it got postponed to the yeah. 19th. It's a whole gay thing. But here's my dilemma. All right. RoboCop comes out February 12th. Oh. Now, damn! I totally am going to see this. Yeah, I'm going to see it because I'm intrigued by what I've seen. Uh, I when I first when they said, "Oh, this is going to be the RoboCop remake," I'm like, "Why? Why would you remake a, a movie that was perfect?" Yeah, why not remake the second and third one? They were awful. <laughs> yeah, why not just make it uh, make a good sequel or something? But I, I I like the direction they're going with it. They're asking they're they're asking different questions that are still kind of out of yeah, what we gonna, have going on now. It's not going to be as uh, over the top uh, ridiculous because it's PG thirteen, yeah. so it's not going to be anywhere near as ultra violent as the original. But but I mean the original it was about eighties excess and right. corporate culture. That would that was they weren't trying. They weren't, everyone it wasn't, drove Ford Tauruses. Yeah, they weren't <laughs> going like the total recall route to make things just excessively violent for the cool for action. The, yeah, for the action yeah. point of it, they were they were going. There was a message. Yeah, in that one, and and just the and the idea of uh, of um, of him getting a uh, um, shot up, a shot and killed. It was like he was tortured. dying. <laughs> he was going out violently like, tortured. But he was going out like Christ. That right. was the thing, though. He was you know being killed that way and then resurrected. I mean, the, dude, they were on such another level when they made that movie. And then but that's what I thought was going to be missing, a soul from right. the remake. But then, like, when I heard him, I heard about the, all these problems with it, and then I saw, like, the first little sneak peeks of what he looked like. Yeah, and it was like, Ugh. But they were, like, they were not the one, that wasn't the pictures they wanted to get out. It wasn't done yet. And right, because it was just, like, some asshole on the set with a phone. Yeah, and so you're like, oh, this is going to suck. Oh, I'm so scared. But they really. Then I heard the names that were involved with it: Michael Keaton, Gary Oldman, yeah. uh, Sam Jackson. And I'm like, you know, I'm kind of, and I like the fact that they took a no-name actor to play the part, yeah, of Murphy. Well, I like this is a good choice. This might be interesting. So, yeah, because a lot of times if you get like somebody that's established with a role like that, yeah, all you do—they're going to be who they are yeah, instead of that. You don't character. want Jeff, you don't want Jeff Goldblum being Robocop. Oh God, the whole time the fly doing that, and he'd be talking about chaos theory. Yeah, and the whole time you it's awkward just, You're looking at Jeff Goldblum pretending to be Robocop. So this is more yeah. of a tabula rasa, which is really fits with the whole story. Yeah. And so I, I'm really interested in what they're going. I saw their Q and A's when they were talking about the movie and what the director was going for with the story, and I'm 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 actually intrigued. So I really want to see this movie, and I'm to- I totally told my I told myself I promised myself when this comes out as soon as you can, which is the weekend. Let's face it. Yep. You are going to see this movie, and then like they they put out the twelfth. That ah, means shit. that oh fuck. So I'm like, how am I going to convince my wife, <laughs> who feels like shit anyway, to go out and see RoboCop? <laughs> totally not. 
I mean, she likes sci-fi and shit like that, but I mean, that doesn't, it just, I don't know. It seems very it's, self-serving yeah. to me. But then I'm like, what? And then it comes back to the pretense. What is Valentine's Day other than Hallmark self-serving? Holiday. Yeah. It's self-serving. And I don't know. It's 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 self serving. It's just all about uh, the female in the relationship wants you to give her tokens of how you feel right. because her friends are getting the tokens. So right. you have to. So that it's their thing. And I, yeah. I I get that. I respect <clears throat> that. Don't necessarily. I I I comprehend it. But I don't, I don't feel agree. it. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't, well, and I, I want to watch RoboCop, Pete. I don't know how to do this. That's, I, I, the comment I made regarding Valentine's Day last week at work was, uh, was like, look, I understand, like you just said, I get it, but I feel if it takes, if it requires a country's worth of, of conditioning to tell your significant other that you love them, like that's, you're a fucked up person. Yeah, from the guy's side, be it's like, silly. hey. It's fucking Thursday. You know what? I love you. Here's the fucking yeah, you're thing awesome. that makes me happy Here's, to have you yeah. in my life. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's what it should be. But, but I, like, I'm just so I'm even beyond the whole. This is stupid and Troy. I'm like so beyond all. Yeah, I, all, I, I'm beyond I the artifice surrounding the artifice. Right. And it's just like, and so I'm like in that weird zone now, and I don't know what to do. I haven't decided yet. I'm probably going to leak to you. Like, hey, you want to go see a movie? Oh, I wonder what's playing. Oh shit! It's that new RoboCop remake. I hear it's going to be pretty good. What do you think? Hey, we can go to dinner. Well, honestly, your only other option is the Lego Movie. Yeah, good, 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 good. That you well, have I, you have zero options. Yeah. It's RoboCop, Lego Movie, um, I Frankenstein, and uh, Awkward oh Moment. God. Like that's it. Oh, cool. And, um, so that's nice. That's half good for of me. those suck horrible balls. Yes. Um, Lego However, movies, I hear, is funny as hell, though. The Lego movie, I, all the reviews I've read and yeah. watched have... It's got a 97% but from critics on Rotten you Tomatoes. You don't have to see that in a movie. No, you don't have to see you it in see a You see that theater. at home. But what's cool about it, though, is that, uh, from what everybody's saying, is that it's got something for everybody. It's basically... The, the review I got from P- our peers yeah. was... It's an adult cartoon with shit in it for kids. Yeah, which, and like go bring your kids to it and then go back and watch the, it. But your the damn best cells. alleged kid movies, like even like Aladdin, like oh, yeah. had funny stuff in it that only adults are going to get. So I always thought that was cool. And well, this is well that oh, that was a point they brought up because uh, it's from the same team that did like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and, and like that. And so it's a, a good a good crew. But the the remarks were that those were those those type of kids movies where it was aimed at kids. And there's funny shit in it for adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is more like adults. people from our generation. It's for them. Yeah. And then and you can bring your the, kids But the kids can come along because it's nice and Yeah, it's and not Team America. You won't have fun. puppet sex. Right. <laughs> and the other but, uh, thing that people were saying is that it's deceptively not stop animation. Like, it looks exactly like Legos. It looks like they're real Legos. Yeah, I was looking at the But it's all CG. <clears throat> yeah. It's... Uh, I heard it's, the 3D was worth it, though. Yeah, well, 3D for, 3D for me takes me out of the movie. Uh, uh, I have yet to see a movie that I think 3D would be like, oh, I Desolation totally, of Smog. I want to totally enjoy the, this. Well, I IMAXed Desolation of Smog. Well, see, that's the thing. I would, I would IMAX 3, 3D a movie like that. It's just regular 3D, though. The, the, ah. Yeah, the regular like passive 3D is is kind of dicks. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I, I don't want. I just want to enjoy the film. But so so that's that's my Valentine's Day thing, and yeah. we'll, we'll update everybody for our next show. Yep, still, next week we'll let you know how uh, that all I, went. I can't, I can't even take her out because her jaw hurts. I like taking her out right. to eat. She can only have like a handful of food, oh, and it has to be sucks. small things, and every bite hurts. Oh, so it's like poor, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What the fuck, poor girl? I, I mean, I sort of uh, feel her pain. But, Let's uh, see. Uh, um, anything else? Lots of work, work, work. Uh, yeah, work today was because we're in this sort of lull period, the post Christmas. Yeah, the only department right, yeah. that's insanely, ridiculously busy is the returns because it's the first quarter, so all the stores and everything are sending back their overstock. Stuff they didn't sell. Yeah. yeah. So that's insane. Every, but the whole of us that are shipping shit out to people buying stuff yeah, are just like, like snoozeville. Well, what are we going to do? So today, my mission was to get. Was, I was doing inventory for my department of all of our shit. And I'm so glad that the person in charge of ordering stuff for us is this bubbly little fucking great ass 25 year old girl that has no fucking clue how to do a goddamn thing <laughs> as far as making sure a department is fully stocked with everything we need. Because <clears throat> we haven't had an accurate inventory ever. It's been a lot of guesswork, and it's, oh shit, we ran out of this, I guess we better fucking rush order it for yeah. tomorrow. 
So I go through, I get the towel. It, it took like four hours to get everything because we have our shit in like five different locations throughout two warehouses. <laughs> so I get the whole count on everything, and I'm looking at this list going, Jesus Christ, I got 200 cases of gift boxes that we will not need until November. Wow. I got another 180 cases of smaller gift boxes that we will not need until December. Yeah, they're all like they're all holiday. I, I gift like, boxes I like too, what the like fuck? Valentine's Day gift boxes or anything? No, we don't have anything special for Valentine's Day, which is weird, but I mean, we're not actually doing that much for business. But so I go th- I go through and it's just like this the the sheer amount of stuff that we have is fucking insane for what it is that we're doing cuz I like I found like <laughs> <laughs> like if it was Christmas again right now, well, we would be set. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. So all the shit that we actually need, we got next to nothing of. But the stuff you don't need, and you've got we, tons and, of. And, and, whoa, I've <laughs> I filled up. I had my minions fill up an entire other department with our extra shit <laughs> because we had nowhere else to put it. I'm sure they appreciated that. Uh, well. We got uh, assistant director of the entire facility's permission to do it. Oh, carte blanche! I love <laughs> because that shit. the shit that's that's actually there, like the uh, the uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of pallets of, of uh, other stuff that's supposed to get shipped out on Monday or whatever that was in the wrong spot. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, shipping's gonna get in some shit for that, <clears throat> but it's okay. So that was like the first part of the day, and then the, the second half of the day, I literally had nothing to do. So I just kind of grabbed a pallet jack and just moved like the same pallet back and forth, <laughs> a whole bunch. Uh-huh. Fucked off. I followed Summer around and helped her. Uh, those were the do days. her job and uh, and that. And then the best part about the past two days is uh, since we've gotten rid of all of our like little high school bullshitty he said she said type of drama causing yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. The everybody that's left who's in that sort of late teens, early twenties area of is at age. least an interesting person. Well, no, they ran out of people to talk shit on, so somebody oh, uh, tried ex- to drag me into some shit. Oh, how'd that work out for them? Um, oh, it's been hilarious. Uh, so Friday, um, our good buddy uh, Tuan comes, picks me up on lunch break to go cash my check because it's just easier for me to do that. On lunch instead of like afterward because yeah. I don't have to rush to get to some place before it closes yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, and yeah. I can have money to buy fucking snacks and less lines, yeah. right? So that's always good. It's the middle of the at two o'clock. Nobody's doing anything. Yeah. And as you know, Tuan's a black guy. He <laughs> drives a that's my cousin t- a tinted out Dodge Charger. Oh yeah, it's a nice you know, car. I love that car. It's so you know, and it's whatever. So I get back. And we go out, we hang out, and I can just talk gas money for him, you know. It's, it's cool. And I like, we're friends. Yeah. So it's outside like, hey, of work. Yeah, yeah. Known him for fucking years. Yeah. Come back and uh, start working, you know what I mean? And uh, Frankie comes up to me, he's like, hey, real talk. <laughs> just so you know, I mean, like, I don't care what you do, but, uh, you know, I'm just saying, people have been putting your name in, in about, you know, how you're going out and, like, you know, I like I don't care what you do because you get your shit done. At the, and and well, I ain't yeah. saying no names, but people were saying something. I'm like, it's like, uh huh, cousin Frankie, just out with it. Yeah. Well, it, so I was like, okay, that that's fine, whatever. Like, yeah. uh, do people think I'm you know, going out and do buying drugs and doing all kind of crazy shit. I, whatever. It's like I run a prostitution ring and I like to check on my stable of whores during lunch. So I was thinking about <laughs> it for a little bit. I was like, hey, Frankie, you know what I'm gonna do? He's like, what? It's like I'm gonna make the Biggest, most openest, putting it on front street deal about this ever. Yes. Just watch. So today rolls around. <laughs> and we start. Uh, and I got the perfect opportunity because uh, they hired this girl like a, a month ago for in another department. But she works like sort of in ours. I don't know. She used to be a stripper at Cashmere. Oh, interesting. Which uh, we know because some of the, our employees have seen her there. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Or, or whatever. So today we were supposed to get a new temp in, some, yeah. some temp girl to do stuff. And somebody goes, oh, is she a stripper? And I was like, I hope so, because who else's ass am I going to sniff all my coke off of? <laughs> all day. Every time any, like, there was like, a bunch of people around, I'd start screaming about my coke habit that I don't have. But, and they were like, oh, we're going to order Chinese. I was like, great. Get me some sweet and sour chicken and an eight ball. Yes. Because we all know I go get a bunch of drugs on my fucking breaks. I get, you got to bring in like a like a um, Ziploc bag full of flour. 
and just leave it on my desk. No, I'm like, oh, that's say, brilliant. I, I'll be, I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling a little tired. Time to get a little and pulled out five minute energy. <laughs> then go to the bathroom and just throw it in your face, a la Scarface. <laughs> yeah. And then come out and go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> just watch him fucking squirm. Oh, Wednesday's going to be a fun day. <laughs> And yeah, what's be- really what, what the best part about this is, is that, so I start making a big deal about it being really loud oh, and yeah, obnoxious yeah, yeah. and completely over the top. Of course. And, uh, and then Frankie comes up to me again later. He goes, um, you know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't putting anybody's name out there, but I don't think who you think it is that said something is who said something. And so... Between what he said, and somebody else said some other bullshit later, and I'm like, so basically, you guys are trying to get me to not like Summer because y'all don't like her right now. I was about to say the snot thickens. I'm like, first of all, you little kid, you kids don't understand. I've spent the past 16 years in my head going, I don't care what other people think about me. Oh, yeah, me. totally. I don't care about your high school bullshit. Yeah. And I'm. At work making money, not friends. So yes. anything you think that you can do, it's gonna just yeah. I'm not if if I even bother to give you the time of day to notice it, it's to make you look like an idiot. Yeah. So, I'm not putting my dick in any of you, so I don't care what you think. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where like the somebody these kids would be like, Oh, you know, oh I don't care. I don't care what anybody thinks. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you say that. But I actually live that. Yeah, like and when, when the Eagles fans, when, when uh, the Eagles like fuck up and they don't go to the Super Bowl, they're like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm like, you totally care. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that, um, uh, you know, I'm on a podcast, been in a band. Yeah. I'm in the entertainment industry. Yeah. I'm trying, you know, we're, we're, we're in that zone. Yeah. And as an entertainer, people love you. People hate you. Yeah. Both groups talk about you. Yes. That gives you attention. That gives puts you in discussion. No such thing I as I like press. that. Yes, that's good. Y'all are talking shit on me. Please keep talking about yeah. me. That, to me, that's great. I like it. You're getting hits on the analog internet. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So it's like no press is bad press. I was really hoping that uh, uh, the number two of the plant was going to be in today because I'd have said all kind of shit about oh. Coke in front of him because uh, that was my plan. I was just like, hey, Vishnu, have you heard the latest rumor about me? Yeah. I'm a huge Coke head. You look a little tired, Vishnu. Want to go do some cocaine? Come on, it'll be great. I also think it's really awesome that my boss's 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 name is Vishnu. That is so fucking, fucking awesome. great. Ooh, Vishnu. <laughs> and I love making him laugh because he's, he's a lot like Mike Bruno was. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so making uh, him laugh is a goal and it's always great. Yeah. So that's been the latest work kind of bullshit. And so naturally I went and told Summer all this. And through the course of the day, I was like, we're, we're watching everybody get more and more pissed off and not talking to either one of us. <laughs> and I said, hey, Summer, am I nuts? Or does it look like they're trying to split us up and like get us at each other's throats? But because it's not working, they're getting, they're getting mad. all mad and stuff. And she looked at it, looked around and went, that's totally what's happening. Oh, this is great. Because she's just as fucked up as I yeah. am. So, of course, we had to play into that. Yeah. <laughs> well, single moms ain't got time for that. They just no, don't she have has, time she has for, no any time for anybody's no. bullshit. And it's great. Ah, it's, yeah, we had too much fun, fun fucking with people all day. Because yeah. really, there was nothing else to do. Fucking with people is is a, a guilty pleasure of mine as well. On occasion, I'd like to do that sort of thing. I, I can't help myself. <laughs> Sometimes I really should know better. It's one thing I like about not being management is uh, <clears throat> I can totally just do that. Yeah. Oh, I have to hold back so much now because I'm just like, no, you gotta do it. Then usually I tell like another manager and they start laughing. I'm like, yeah, but you can't say that. I'm like, yeah, I know, sucks, doesn't it? And I love it when someone else says it and the, like an hourly says it. I'm like. I to- yes, I totally. That's yeah, what I wanted that's to a say. Skill that I have. <laughs> oh. So yeah, someone's so, gonna uh, be the hammer. What's been going on with you? Uh, well, let me give my big ups here before we jump into some weird news. My big ups to uh, I couldn't get my uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic game to work. It was frustrating to me. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, you helped me fix the iTunes uh, and got that squared away, and I was happy. And uh, I thought everything was great. It's part of the battle, yep. For some reason, Star Wars The Old Republic wouldn't work. 
And so I called them up in the middle of the night because I'm like, all they wanted to do was like just, just do something that had absolutely no substantive fucking value at all. It was just fun. Get yeah. rest myself in a little story and just do my thing. Maybe cut some people up with a lightsaber. Maybe electrocute someone with purple lightning to death. It's what I like Unlimited to do. Unlimited power. Yeah, you know what? I, I, it makes me happy. And sometimes I'll play like a Jedi and be like the nice guy healing people and stuff. Unlimited just whatever. Unlimited power. You know, it's just you know, just what I like to do, but I couldn't do it. And when I when I want to do something, and then I can't do it. I, oh, it's infuriating to me. To me, it's not cunt. Can't is the true four letter word. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like like Napoleon. I'm like circumstances. No, no, no. I dictate the fucking circumstances. So I'm like, all right. So I call up tech support. Uh, customer support, and it's the middle of the night, and they're 24 hours a day. That's rare, which, and which awesome. is great, and they're right on it. And um, uh, Irva was her name, and she she talked me through a bunch of stuff for about an hour. We didn't get anywhere, um, and she was. I get very frustrated and dumb, <laughs> and, but I, I because they're being so ingratiating and nice, and 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 just being cool, and they all love the game because they're. I was like getting angrier, and, and I would like make like Star Wars. Reference jokes. When I get when I, I when I get angry, I just turn it sideways and it becomes comedy. Channel it into the funny. Yeah, yeah. because it's just like oh, you know, you're getting your frustration out, but you're still entertaining. <laughs> yes, and, and so they're laughing, and and then she puts me through to uh, Liam and tech support. Uh, big ups to him, and he sat with me uh, for another hour. Finally, it's about two in the morning, and I'm like, he's like, look, try this stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. He's like, well, here's the number, da 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 and call me back. Call me if it doesn't work. I was like, all right. So he's like, but it probably should work. And uh, tried it, didn't work, went to sleep. Next day, called him back again. And for another hour, he talked me through shit while we fucking went to safe mode and windows, all this other gay shit. Yes. And finally got it to work. Woo! And so big ups to our friends at Bioware at Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, they, 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 you will be able to talk to them 24 seven and they will work with, if they can talk me through a computer issue, Pete, you can definitely, uh, yes, it, They're it's some trying saintly people. Yes. It's trying all the patience because it's hard enough just to phone support computer shit in general. Yes. But to and me, when it's tech, uh, like really, really that's what it was, technical like, shit. And it wasn't even shit about Star Wars. That's the thing. He took me, he helped me fix Windows. Yeah. Dude, I, that's awesome. And he was like totally patient because he really wanted me to be able to play it. And he's like talking to me about my characters because he's had this thing up and, and stuff like that while we're waiting for stuff to boot up and yeah. shit like that. Oh, that's cool. So it, 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 was, it was really cool. So big ups. I wanted to give big ups to uh, Liam and, uh, and our friends at BioWare because it's like, you know, yeah, the, the company, company, and it's because you won't get that. Like, I've Blizzard is totally Blizzard before. They're helpful, and they usually fix shit so fast you don't yeah, have this big interaction. They just don't have a twenty-four hour thing. Yeah, their business hours. That's the problem. West their business, Coast hours, business are, hours are yeah, which for a second shifter is murder. But Swotor twenty-four-seven. They're just like whatever. We'll fucking fix it. We got you. We'll be shooting That's purple lightning awesome. and killing Republic scum and in Rebel three scum hours in no or less. <laughs> yeah, it was, so big ups to them. That that, that was my big. Uh, that was my big thing during the week was computer problems. <laughs> but, well, I'm uh, glad they're all sorted out. And so that's all the news I have, as weird as it was. But oh. hey, wait a minute. What's that? I, news that's like weird. a segue. Weird news? Pete, let's jump right into some weird news. We should weird the news. Oh, yeah. Whether it's people eating peat on eggs in China or a woman who discovers her second vagina straight from the internet, it's Weird News! Weird News! Some of which is brought to you by way of Chuck Shepard's News of the Weird. .com. A few from actual avid listeners, some Woo. from The Smoking Gun, uh, and uh, a few from Huffington Post this week. Ah, yes, excellent. Uh, they actually had a couple good ones. And the rest from random sorted APR news sources scattered throughout the interwebs. Real quick, before we get this ball a rolling, do you have anything in there about the George Zimmerman DMX I boxing match? I do not. Pete, let's start. That'll be your, your story. Because, <laughs> you know, I... I I heard about it, and I was like, I got to put that in weird news. <laughs> and um, because of computer problems, I didn't do it. Yes, this sounds awesome. I oh first heard about it earlier this week, and it was just one of these things where it's like, there's going to be a celebrity boxing match with George Zimmerman. He wants to fight some people. And I was like, what the fuck? So there was 1,500 names put in or something like that. DMX. And they picked DMX out of it. Dude, and I was I'm like, an old school DMX fan. This is awesome. Old days. He already thinks he's a pit bull. He's got to fuck this guy's day oh, up. Oh, yeah, dude. So that was the first story. It was just like, 
is this going to be a thing? Is like, it, could this really happen? Whatever. So the next day, um, the Los Angeles Times caught up with DMX for an interview. Yeah. And uh, so they, you know, they're out there and they're talking to him. And he's like, uh, you know, yeah, I got, I got the, uh, yeah. I got the, I got the invite, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it, like, cause they, they, he hadn't agreed yet, like, and they were still they the, work in the planning yeah, phase yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It's actually a like, lot of money involved in that, yeah, you know, for them, which is good. for And them. he goes, I don't know if I will win, and uh, I mean, I hope I do because I'm gonna beat the shit out of that motherfucker, dude. Like his, the I don't remember the exact quote. But to paraphrase, he said something like, I'm going to beat the shit out of this motherfucker, and then I'm going to piss on him because that's what he deserves to drink. Dude. (laughs) (laughs) That's my dog right there. Oh, my goodness. And so... You know, I was like, "Oh, I'm psyched! This is gonna be awesome!" And uh, like, uh, and DMX was like, "You know, and if I if I don't win or whatever happens, any money this motherfucker gets, part of the contract is gonna be he gives it all to charity." So like, oh, good for so him. So DMX like, even though he wanted to violently murder this dude, he still wanted to help still out some people help that people. needed help, good for which him. is fucking awesome. So yeah. I, I like him even more after that. Today though. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh, it's not going to go down. Oh, they, they canceled Peter. the whole thing. So unfortunately, I have to end it on that sort of, the dude's not going to get the ass whooping that he deserves, Oh, which well, is kind of sad. But know. at the same time... I don't know. See, that's the thing. I was on the other side. Of, I'm like, uh, I wasn't there. Uh, I don't know what happened. Only two people know. One of them's dead. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, do we really need to give this asshole more fucking publicity? Yeah, I, like, he needs to fade away into well, obscurity. L- let's say for a moment that he's... He's that that his life really was in jeopardy. Let's just say that that's going to happen. That that's sure, how it went. We can that everything speculate. that he said happened completely happened because there's only either there's only two ways it could have went. Right. Uh, and so he he should want it to go away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's done now. Just go away with it. He's just being a douchebag. Like to if I if I was to fifteen minutes. If I was a dude and and some. 15, 16 year old kid who thought he was like a thug came on me, got me to the ground, and nearly killed me. I had to shoot him. Even I, I, I would be glad I wasn't dead, but I still feel bad because it's like, yeah, he was this kid was an asshole. But I mean, who knows? Like fifteen years later, he could have been like a great dad. He could have, yeah. Who knows what this kid could have done? And I took that from him to save my life, and it sucks. I had to do. It. You know what I mean? I would, yeah, exactly. I would be happy with it. So I and would want a it normal quiet. kind of human yeah. reaction. You I would want, want it the quiet fuck out of that. Spotlight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, now if if Trayvon Martin would have been like a twenty four year old dude who was coming, you know, it would have been different. But it's right. just a kid. I know he was doing throwing his arms around like he was a grown up, but he's still just a kid. So we would, it sucks. But and if it went the other way and it totally he totally gunned this kid down when he didn't have to and this that, and the other he should st- he should even more want it to be right. quiet not talk about it because you know the dude payback's a motherfucker right someone's yeah. gonna catch you and and, and he, yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't care there, there ain't a hoodie thick enough for you to hide in my friend <laughs> it's gonna be a bad day for you to be alive so either way he shouldn't be offering to fight nobody right motherfucker should be quiet as hell like a church mouse change his name and shit change his <laughs> name to Trayvon out of Martin Manatee County. and then just disappear in a hoodie into a crowd and be gone. I don't know, something. Damn. But I, you know what's fucked up about that is I, another thing about that is I, everyone, all the race baiters who wanted to like turn yeah. into a big thing are all made him white. They're like, this white guy, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. When the fuck is that white? I, I'm, I'm, I'm white. All right. Yeah. I, I'm, you and me I'm, both. I'm, I'm on the low income chapter of whiteness. I'm like on the, the chairman of the board <laughs> of whiteness. Like when I eat something, you can watch it digest. That's how fucking white I am. I'm like a fucking deep sea creature white, like a jellyfish white. Yeah. All right. We're some pale motherfuckers over here. Uh, that's not white. That's Latino. That's straight up Latino. Now, if, now, if Zimmerman would have shot a, uh, a, a, a white cop, then he would have been Latino. Right. And then all the race bears said, look, 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 this cop was trying to kill him and this poor Latino was trying to save his life. I do. But then they're like, oh, it's a little black kid. Oh, well, yeah, he's white. Oh, totally white. Totally yeah, white. Let's yeah. beat the drums, get everyone excited. You know, and it's just like, guys, this, just shut up. Just the fuck up about it. It's terrible. No matter what outcome, <laughs> yeah, no matter who's, who's saying it, the only people who should be talking should be Trayvon's family and George Zimmerman and everybody just shut the fuck up because this is ugliness. We don't need to feed this. We need to put this out like a fucking house fire is bad. Put it the fuck out. Damn. But uh, now I'm disappointed because DMX was going to fight him. And, yeah, that was, I was. But I do like DMX, that, so I, I like. I the, still like DMX. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that, that's He's my awesome. dog, yo. Yes. But, uh, well, yeah, well, there so, you go. Weird. 
But uh, but you know we got th- we were a little strangely s- anticlimactic. Yeah, we were a little serious there. We got a little bit serious. So let's uh, it, let's lighten it up. Well, a maintaining that note of of, of maturity and uh, and, uh, and intellectual yes. growth. Uh, let's go into our first story called Poop Bank. Yes, we have. Uh, <laughs> We've reported uh, the emerging mainstream treatment for various bowel disorders of fecal transplants. You may remember this uh, story from uh, before, uh-huh. in which a healthier relative donates via enema supposedly healthier microbes to a sickly patient to normalize intestinal activity. Okay. You know, they take poop out of the yeah. healthy relative's butt, and they put it into the butt of <laughs> the sickly relative to make his tummy better. Somehow... I which, don't see how that works, but okay, sure. Which the four-year-old me just can't help but go, Ew! You, <laughs> put, his, you put your dookie. poop in his butt. <laughs> oh, um, dookie butt. The process, still strange to many patients despite its apparent success, has become so popular that in October, Canadian officials felt the need to warn patients not to perform amateur transplants. <laughs> Oh, don't try this at home, kids, said one mother after successfully having her 10-year-old daughter treated by a doctor. Okay. Uh, I think one day we will have fecal matter banks like blood banks and sperm banks. That's from CTV, Canada TV. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. That'd, yeah. be, that'd, be, that'd be the obvious joke to say how shitty that bank is. Oh, yeah. That's some crazy crap there, huh? Oh, man. Spectacular. <clears throat> Uh, this next one's called Holy Cow Thing. <laughs> I like it already. Deformed animals born in developing <laughs> countries often attract streams of pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> like on the Nina the thingy Santa Maria? Se- seeking to touch a creature considered <laughs> divinely blessed. <laughs> That's fucked up. In this cow's got three heads and no legs. It's divine. Uh, but, but no, it's, it's manhandled by Hindus left and it's right. It's fucked up. Just someone turn me into a hamburger and give me to an American. <laughs> uh, in December, a five-legged cow in Rapur, India, had supposedly caused the last 30 women who touched it to give birth to boys. Yeah. Sounds legit. Sure. sure. Uh-huh. Earth 6,000 years old. Go God, on. Yes. And the day after that, a report came from... uh, They all had cancer. From Fuck It Thailand. P-H-U-K-E-T. Fuck it. I'm going to call it Fuck It. Where do you live in? Oh, that Ah. might be the best place ever. (laughs) Poop. Fuck it. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Fuck It Thailand, in which a newborn gecko with six legs and two heads has become a magnet for visitors seeking clues to winning lottery numbers. Yeah, the see earlier London. Siamese twins conversation. It's from <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> from the Daily Mail in London and from the Fuck It News. <laughs> just, just be, oh, I had to the Fuck It dude, News. That's great. Um, that should be the dude, the story in and of itself. Yeah. Where's this from? Fuck It India. It'll be it'll be a right. it'll be a mini segment inside Weird News called Fuck It News. <laughs> um, this next one's called uh, Office Honester. Uh, in November, the Journal News of Hamilton, Ohio, examining various police union contracts in the state, learned that in several jurisdictions, officers are allowed to work their shifts even when less sober than some drivers whom they ticket for DUI. Wow. In Lebanon, Ohio, for instance, police, can, police can work with a .04 blood alcohol reading. In Butler County, a .04 reading triggers legal protections for officers that are unavailable to ordinary drivers. However, in Lebanon, an officer's right to suck on a breath mint before taking the test was recently... I did not think you were going to say breath mint. ...was recently removed from the contract. Uh, From the journal news. (laughs) That's the thing. Wow. Why? What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck in India is that about? Yeah, the way. Oh, I or see. Or Thailand, what I'm there. sorry. No, no, I, I'll let it stand. I, I defucted it all up. Fuck it, Pete. That's good enough. <laughs> uh, this next one's called Like a Labre Tar Pit for Retards. <laughs> <laughs> I so I thought. I knew a girl that. like that once. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we all knew a girl like that yeah. once. Uh, this next one's called. Uh, 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 in December, after Carmen uh, uh, is called, uh, I already read the fucking title, so I'm just going to stutter for a little bit and then jump into uh, perfect <laughs> jump cut. Anyway, jump into the story. Oh no, I'm retarded now. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh, where's my libra? Uh, in December, after Carmen Rat Gooey, age 34, was arrested for DUI in Reading Township, New Jersey. 
Well, at least it wasn't Ohio, because you know those bitches that have been drunk. Oh, yeah. And was too impaired to drive home. She called Nina Petraca, age 23, who arrived at the police station, impaired herself, and was also arrested for DUI. <laughs> oh, they're and, piling them up. And then both women called Ryan Hogan, age 33, to take them home. But he also arrived impaired and was arrested <laughs> from the Hunterton <laughs> County Democrat. <laughs> Fucking nipple heads. Yeah. They just, they just keep coming. Just free ones for the cops on that Do one. Do you have any other dumb drunk friends you can call? <laughs> We're going to get our whole quota done for the month. We'll be able to sit down. Oh, this and- is going to be great. They arrest themselves. <laughs> um, this uh, uh, dumbass criminal. Done, yeah, I was going to say. Here are some dumbass criminals. Jamal Garrett, age 29, was arrested in Antioch, California in January after police said he tried to rob a Wells Fargo bank but had fled empty-handed after a teller struggled to read a poorly written hold-up note. <laughs> she, and her, she and her manager said they did not even know immediately if it was a hold-up or just a note requesting assistance. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, can't you get this proof read before you come in? Don't they have spell check for fucking ah, criminals? What the hell? The hell? Uh, stay in school, kids. Yeah. Then rob a bank. <laughs> yeah. Get your degree in bank robbingology from <laughs> Fuck It University. So you can give them a cashiotomy. Yeah. And then you can transfer the fecal matter to your own bank account. Oh, only if you're a professional. Uh, Daniel Severin, age 27, pled guilty to burglary in England's Hull Crown Court in December. Is he for, robbing a poop bank? For trying to enter a home through the roof, but getting trapped upside down in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. It gets better. <laughs> he dug his phone out of his pocket, but it fell into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and he remained hanging for an hour and a half until the resident came home and found him. Uh, <laughs> Delhi Telegraph in London for that Moron. one. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> you you got to find another line of work which doesn't involve luck at all. <laughs> uh, this one's uh, from February 6th. Um, when police arrived to break up a 3.20 a.m. frat house party on Sunday, last Sunday... Uh, an upstate New York man allegedly decided that it was the opportune moment to urinate directly down onto a police officer from an elevated sniper's nest, according to investigators. Wow. Every frat house ought to have an elevated <clears throat> sniper's nest. We're, 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 so he's up there like with fucking wings and shit, feeding little, he's got little a ghillie, baby snipers. A ghillie suit on. Uh, re- responding to a Sitting disturbance call. Oh, I see what you did there. Yes. Uh, Albany Police Department officers arrived at the ramshackle Hudson Avenue property early Sunday morning <laughs> and observed several people inside and outside of the residence consuming alcohol and causing a loud commotion. Well, that's what you do at ramshackle frat houses. Yep. The property is, own, is home to Pi Kappa Phi, an outlaw fraternity that is not recognized by uh, the University at Albany due to its history of hazing. Uh, Sounds about right with a sniper's nest. Oh, yeah. As officers sought to uh, quell the disturbance, Noah McCall, age 19, urinated off the rear staircase directly onto a uniformed police officer. (laughs) Oh, cops just love that shit. Yeah. Um, McCall's urine fell. Commence the beatings. (laughs) What the (laughs) <laughs> Put the boots to him, medium style. Uh, McCall's urine <laughs> fell onto the head and face of a cop. So you can just imagine being there and just the pee on his head. What the hell? <laughs> it's like, you, you know, you're, you may as well just throw yourself off the balcony at that point. That, yeah, get pretty beat much. up so bad. I like how it was written, though. It fell onto the head yeah. and face of the officer. Uh, who subsequently received treatment at a local hospital for bodily fluid exposure, according to an arrest report. Well, fortunately, urine is sterile. McCall was uh, quickly apprehended and charged with reckless assault on the damp patrolman. <laughs> as, <laughs> Wait, was he damp before? Uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't say. <laughs> as well as possession of a phony Florida driver's license. A second party goer... A 19-year-old college student was arrested for possession of brass knuckles. Both defendants were released from custody following arraignment in Albany City Criminal Court and a thorough beating. (laughs) Uh, We're going to have to arrest you for having these brass knuckles. But why? So I can beat up the guy that just pissed on him. like, look, you can all... That was so dumb. All you cops can just piss on my face. I deserve it. No charges. I won't sue. Just please don't beat me to death for this (laughs) because I totally deserve a whooping. I mean, I'm, I'm an anarchist. Even then, I'd be like... You're gonna get a beating, dude. You yeah, just, you, you're just Sorry. gonna. You're just gonna really, get a I mean, it's that's just you're pissing on somebody. You, you're you're literally or pissing you on gotta somebody. You got to get the shit kicked out yeah, of you for that's that. That's just shit. how that goes. Speaking of shit, this next one's Is called. Is it in a bank? Holy shit! 
Ah, uh, among the church then. Among planet Earth's most bizarre local customs is a Christmas tradition in Spain's Catalonia region of decorating nativity scenes with figurines of famous people squatting and answering nature's calls. <laughs> No idea this was a thing. All right. That's fucking weird. <laughs> um, the presidents uh, Bush and Obama have been honored with posterior bearing statuettes along with Queen Elizabeth. Right on cue this past Christmas, Spanish artists unveil, unveiled, unveiled, oh, <laughs> remove oh. the baby cow. Oh, Carl. It has five legs. We it's covered. from fucking Taiwan or wherever. Uh, uh, Kaganeers. Uh, Kaganers? Unveil Kaganeers. Oh. oh, I guess that's what they're called. In the images of Pope Francis and Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I, do, I, I don't... What? I don't, even if it wasn't for Christmas, it would still confuse it's, me. That's just fucking strange regardless of what season it is. It's definitely baffling. The fact that it's for Christmas. For Christmas is even weirder. Uh, well, uh, uh, perhaps even more weird, the I least suppose, I should say. Perhaps the least illogical explanation for the tradition is that <laughs> if the manger is fertilized, the coming year's crops will flourish. I think that's just people desperately... They're just making some shit up. Grasping at strolls because they're like, we, uh, we can't wall off this town. So like, how did leaving the flaming bag of dog shit on the fucking nativity scene become a national... Like thing, I don't know. Uh, what was the word I was looking for? A uh, pastime or a tradition? Yes, that's, that's it. That's the one. Uh, Either this, one, but this, both of them. This next one's called Elron Detection Services. Uh, to build Mr. Baggins. to build an iron ore smelting plant in Iceland in 2009, and I really thought the people in Iceland were smarter than this. You're going to be like, what? Yeah, they have EVE Online. Come on now. Alcoa Inc. was forced to kowtow to the country's national obsession that elves live underground and that construction projects must assure that the little fells have had a chance to scatter gracefully to new habitats. Yes. Dear I- listeners at home, I am currently giving Carl that cock-headed sort of one what? eyebrow up. What the fuck? Oh, it, it, it gets even more retarded. Alcoa hired the necessary elf monitoring engineers, and what eventually, are the Scientologists. Eventually, the project proceeded. In December 2013, the government announced it was temporarily abandoning a major road project connecting a remote peninsula in the capital of Ray. Uh, fuck it, wherever. Yeah. <laughs> After it was learned that the route would disturb an elf church. That's even weirder than the fucking elf rock we talked about so uh-huh. many episodes yes. ago. The likely outcome, again, according definitely to Scientologists. an Associated Press dispatch, is that the project will resume once the elves have relocated from the Associated Press. From the country that brought us EVE Online and fucking chess boxing, yeah. they got to stop it's projects like a, for elves. elves. And they have like a whole organization. that. And um, it sounds like they're not like, you know, the Legolas elves. They're the fucking no. Keebler kind. Yeah, they just leave, live underground and they have the elf monitoring engineers come in. Don't we? I'm fairly sure in America we call them Thetans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's speaking of America, this next one's called America. Ah, uh, yeah. February 3rd. Time to get drunk cops on the pissing kid. We mentioned the Super Bowl. Well, uh, this is uh, weird. I'm still not into tennis. A, uh, a Super Bowl party turned bloody last night, um, uh, February 3rd, when a New York <laughs> State man allegedly bit off part of his brother's ear during a booze fueled melee, according to investigators. They're reenacting that uh, Evander Holyfield fight Sean, with Tyson and all that. <clears throat> Sean Fallon Nebia was arrested early t- earlier uh, uh, on the 3rd and charged with felony assault in connection with the attack inside a Rochester home. Fallon Nebia. Oh, that's 20. the city I was born in. Check that out. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Fabia, Factual information. Fallon Nebbia, age 27, is locked up in lieu of a $15,000 bond. Damn. Police allege that uh, Fallon Nebbia tangled with his brother Frank during a post-game uh, fight that escalated into a brutal assault. <laughs> Fallon Nebbia allegedly punched his younger sibling in the face several times, knocking him unconscious. He then and chomped... And bit his ear off? chomped down on his brother's right oh, ear. fucking pussy. The bite was so Who's severe... that pissing kid? What the, the bite was... <laughs> Bring in that prison kid. Where's he at? <laughs> He's on the balcony. We'll tell him to hold it. We got we got someone for him. Uh, the bite was so severe that an emergency room doctor told Ro- Rochester police that um, his brother was permanently disfigured and that the victim's ear will not be the same again. Wow. The bite caused severe bleeding and resulted in Frank Fallon Nebia's hospitalization. A witness... <laughs> that fucking sucks. A witness told police that the, that the brother shared more than a bottle of whiskey during the Super Bowl yeah, party. Yeah, clearly. 
In a police statement, uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> sure. right, come here. I know a horse soap. Maybe, maybe he got some of the uh, buffalo wing sauce on his ears or something. Uh, Sean Where's Fallon, the blue cheese. Nebbia's girlfriend said the brothers, quote, drank a bottle and then half of a bottle of Southern Comfort and also a bottle of Jack Daniels during the party. The si- the siblings- yeah, that's ear biting uh, written all over that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The siblings were initially hugging and wrestling and saying, I love Gay. you, brother. Recalled uh, Audra Babcock, super gay, who added that great, the, ba- great, great name. Who added that the uh, that the men later turned violent and aggressive. Babcock, who said that the brothers puked, yes. it gets worse. Babcock, who said that the brothers puked all all over each other's faces during the confrontation. <laughs> oh, oh, gross. <laughs> recalled, they should have started the story with that. <laughs> recalled that when she saw Sean biting, she said, "Oh my God, Sean, you just bit Frank's ear." Concluding her statement, she said uh, they were drinking, but they really love each other. <laughs> so they were fighting. Nothing they, says love like beating your brother unconscious after vomiting all over his face and then biting his they ear They puked off. in each other's faces. Oh, yeah. that's gross. That's like two guys, one cup type of shit. I'm surprised that didn't escalate into like a, a white trash nuclear reaction and then it was an explosion. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's about the most white trashy. That's, a, <laughs> that's like, that's like so, so stereotypically white trash, you almost can't believe it because you're like, that's like a Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah. Or something Will Ferrell would do on Funny or Die. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's just too over the top. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like you couldn't even come up with that shit. That's fucking insane. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Our, Buckle up, kids. Our last story, which is just, oh, young people. This is, <laughs> no, really, buckle up, kids. The dearly departed selfie. <laughs> just, <laughs> just when you thought selfies to be outraged about had reached a peak with the whole funeral thing, a uh, student in... I didn't even know that was oh, a thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Obama took a selfie of himself at uh, Nelson oh, that, Mandela's yeah. Field. I remember that. A student in Alabama has provoked internet fury by posing for a photo with a cadaver <laughs> in the university biology department. That's kind of awesome, the, actually. Yeah. The, I with, think. With the caption, YOLO, though, is very tasteless. <laughs> YOLO swag money, click. <laughs> um, the, un- the unnamed student... Zombies said, never say YOLO. <laughs> the, the unarmed student. I was like, well, well, what? Why, why should that matter? <laughs> the, well, he wouldn't be able to take a selfie if he oh, had no, no it was arms. A, it was a shake. The unnamed student oh, is, is seen figures, it? grinning broadly as the corpse is covered with a sheet in the photo, which was taken during a school trip to the University of Alabama designed to teach pupils about an anatomical donor program. Well, <laughs> Mogul, mobile phones were explicitly banned for the visit, but this uh-huh. didn't stop the student whipping hers out for the quick shot, which has since been removed from Instagram, but was spotted by a classmate, and the little snitches need stitches reported the shit to the school. Ah, oh, what a what bitch. bitch. God damn it. If you really feel that moral about it, just talk to her about it. Say, yo, that was kind of tasteless. Yeah. But, but to do all that gay shit, the fuck? Um, Clementa High School principal, Keith. Well, on the other hand, though, Hadn't got ratted out, we wouldn't have a weird story. Oh, you're right. So, oh, you're a fruit, cunt, but thank you. Fruit of the poison tree, Pete. You're right. I didn't thought of that. Lemony cancer, baby. We live uh, on it. Well, they all can't be dumb criminals. That's they just true. Give their stories to us right. by virtue of their... <laughs> they can't just show up drunk. Yeah. Um, Clemens High School Principal Keith Harrell refused to comment on whether the student has been suspended, but said the school is discussing inappropriate punishment. A university spokesman described the situation <laughs> as... Uh, kid? Uh, as uh, unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Telling uh, UP.com, our policies require discretion and respect in our human anatomy facilities. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> For real. No phones are allowed. No photos are to be taken. And faces of cadavers are supposed to be covered. A student was made explicitly aware of these policies and then breached them. This kind of disrespect is unacceptable and very disappointing. We'll review our process to, or our process is, to ensure this does not happen again. And only and from now on it'll just have be... her fecal matter transplanted. Uh, uh, no, no. They'll gross. only use faceless corpses. Um, Karen Tucker, the Limestone County School Board Director of Public Relations and Technology, added, holy shit, we are speaking to the University of Alabama at Birmingham. They are understandably upset with this incident, and we want to preserve our relationship with the university, which is pretty much <laughs> fucked now. Thank you, yeah. you fucking short-sighted wow. fuck. Oh, fucking scumbag. Jesus. I mean, yeah, it just, it's like, if it was like a funeral of a loved one that would appreciate the joke... 
That's one thing. Yeah, but because at least they're done up. But this, this is like a professional is. establishment. Yeah, and they're bringing you in there to advance it's your a, education. Right. And it's this person donated experience. their corpse to benefit science, which is just such a fucking big bucket of win for anybody to do. That, yeah. I mean, they're just like, you know what? I'm going to eschew all standard practices with my body and, and, and my family might want because I want to give, even in death, to the advancement of mankind as a species. Fucking A. Roar, you rock. Yeah. And that then, type of person deserves like and then the dignity. utmost respect. And yeah. the, the remains deserve some dignity. And then, you know, out of respect for that gift, you can dipshit teenager going, <laughs> YOLO! It's, it's a... Uh, uh, I mean, they should be yeah. pissed on by the other kid just for using YOLO. Yeah. yeah no, no. It's a watt stick. Now, that would have been funny if like the cop was doing a selfie and then the pee landed on him. because photo photobombed be... by somebody's oh. dick pissing off the f- fucking balcony. It'd be like, oh, the, I'm sorry, the sniper's the nest. The sniper's nest. Well, uh, yeah, they call it sniper's nest. And I'm like, is that like a college thing? And it wasn't until I got to the end of the story. I'm like, oh, they were calling the balcony a sniper's nest because they were trying to be funny. I'm like, I should have just edited that because it was so gay. Yeah, but that's all right. It afforded me a really stupid well, bird joke. Yes. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> Ca-ca. Giggle. Pee- and his last name was McCall, which is kind of weird. It's kind of yeah, it's awesome. Not as good as Babcock, but hey, no, take well, what you know, get. yeah, or two drunk white trash dudes throwing up. Each- <laughs> <laughs> That's like, did they pause the fight to blah, uh, into one dude's face and go, Whoa. "I love you, bro. I love, I love you, you too." Blah, 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 blah. Fucking white blah, 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 blah. Now hold still, because I'm hungry. No, no. And then they proceed to shit into each other's asses. <laughs> Right. For, for their health. Right. Uh, you know. The one of them wasn't feeling well, clearly, because they were vomiting everywhere. <laughs> now, oh, you're oh, losing a lot of blood. Here, have some oh poop. God, now I have diarrhea. I ate Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. They're just puke covered. Out of both and hands. shirtless because white trash instantly yeah, takes off their shirt, shirts. Shirtless. It, white trash dudes instantly take off their shirts when they're going to fight. Doesn't matter what the temperature is. Yeah. Doesn't matter what condition their midsection might be in. I was in just going to the say, they're going to be all like. How much hair's on their back? Type of shit. I don't understand it. Gross. It's the dumbest. It, 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 well, I don't understand a lot of white trash things. Well, I, I mean, on the other hand, you don't want to get vomit all over your shirt, clearly. Well, then, <laughs> or blood, in this case. Or both, actually. You're, 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 uh, you're, you're, uh, uh, this implies a certain degree of introspection and planning. Yeah. Which, it, the, wait, it was let's take our shirts off before we, uh, you know, our pugilistic endeavors. Are, uh, yeah, certainly. <laughs> we might vomit on each other. You're right. If they were capable a of that level of thinking. suggestion, my yes. good sir. Before our Queensbury rules, then excellent. We'll vomit in each other's face. You go first. Well, no, you go first. You're the elder oh, brother. But I insist. All right then. It is only gentlemanly to be vomited upon second. And winner, winner takes the air. Very well then. Very good. Very good. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's just. Wait, 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 wait. That's just. So he bit off the air, then threw it up on his brother's face. I don't oh, understand. Gross. It's yeah. The order of all those events is just disgusting. Yeah. No matter which way you do it, all of it from. The beat from the Super Bowl to the whiskey to the people involved to the act, all of it is 100% unappealing. <laughs> there is nothing about any of that which is appealing to the biting off of the ear, even. It's all unappealing. I don't, I, I, no. Yeah. No. I, uh, yeah. I think yeah, yeah, I'd, no. uh, no. Yeah, I no. think I'd rather, no, no. Yeah, I'd no. rather be in the Russian Olympics than have to deal with that. Yeah, because at least that's just gay. Until, you know, next time when they have actual white trash uh, wrestling competition where they throw up in each other's faces. <laughs> and the winner takes the ear. Yeah. Yay. Anyway, it's part of the contractual rules. That's one thing. Well, he gets the necklace of ear, so, you know, right, it's cool. Right, right. So, uh, yeah. Ugh. Well, we learned a lot of things today. Gross. Most of them bad. Yeah. But we did learn well, something good. That a lot in, of what not to do at home. In th- not in Thailand, Carl. Or on a cop or in fuck it. Thailand. In Thailand, there's a town called Fuck It. And, That's uh, pretty brilliant. It's like Nantucket. I feel I don't Nantucket have a good Taiwanese uh, accent, so um, let's see. What should we make them? I know. We'll just go stereotypical Asian. Yeah, just pull it out of the bag. There should be oh, what do we name this town, do you think? I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Perfect. <laughs> you know, at the end there, it was a very Chi Chi Chong y thing going yeah, on there to it's, say it. Uh, it's, Look, it's you late. Find a better I piece slip. of pussy. Fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> if you find a better name for your town, fuck it. <laughs> you piss off side of building because in Russia, the <laughs> Olympics, Whoa. we decided to not have toilets here for you in hotel. Don't fuck piss it. on cop though, because you know, fuck it. Yes. Um, dude, if you pissed on Putin, like, I don't know, an 
the electricity of hate would just go right up the piss and just burn your dick off. <laughs> you didn't end up pissing. You'd like punch the piss. It's in. too gay for me. You must come, die now. Come down here and I throw, destroy throw, up, you. throw up on my face like a man. <laughs> so I bite off your ear. <laughs> yes. So, uh... <laughs> Gross. Yeah, that's a very disgusting uh, <laughs> sort of uh, a gross ones there. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, Would it have been more disrespectful to vomit on the uh, corpse first and then <laughs> take the selfie? <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible, Pete. <laughs> oh, Try to you... tie it all together in one gross <laughs> bucket of fucking pissed on. Ugh. We got to stop now before all of our weird news is ruined. Yeah, this is spreading true. like a pool of vomit. <laughs> this but, is spreading uh, like a transplanted bucket of fucking fecal matter. Ah, uh, putting throw up in your ass, Pete. <laughs> This is just getting preposterous. You made it gross now. Oh, I made it gross. <laughs> That's it, Pete. Take off your shirt. We're fighting. All right, roar, roar, roar. I got to vomit. <laughs> Which, uh, but I'll bite off my own ear. Thank you very much. <laughs> Be chasing myself <laughs> head around like a dog <laughs> chasing his funny, tail. Yeah. <laughs> What's Carl doing? Always. Oh, He's just arguing with well, himself. He's, he's in a fight with himself. Just yeah. don't mind the vomit and those <laughs> other random bodily fluids. Why is his shirt off? <laughs> he's fighting. He's going for the white trashiest route possible. Yeah, he had a lot of drink tonight. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. He had at least three bottles of Captain Morgan. Yeah, all at once in my ass. <laughs> Which, uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, that's how you end a podcast, that's ladies and gentlemen. how you end the podcast. Which... Brings us to you've been listening to that's life, a baby boy production episode number ochenta nueve And thank you so much for listening. You can listen to many of the season two and season three episodes, Pete, for frizzles at our YouTube channel, YouTube.com forward slash that's life podcast. To listen to or download any of the season one through season three episodes, Pete also also for free. Check us out at that's like podcast.com. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe and beat. Subscribe! Or we send the vomiting white trash. For instant notification by email whenever new episodes are posted. Pete, speaking of things, tell them about the Facebook page. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself to be vomited on the face by all my Facebook page knowledge. That's right, at that'slife.com. You can get a link because I fucked this up already because you know what? In Thailand, fuck it. Go to Facebook.com slash That's Life Podcast, and hey, hit us with the like and the follows and the subscribes so you too can be updated when we post shit and when we have funny ideas. Also, you can share us with your friends. You Please can do. give us some really cool, weird news to vomit all over the ear oh, spaces yes. before we bite them off, and everyone can laugh and join in on the excitement. So, if you enjoyed what you just heard, and if you haven't vomited yet, you will, be sure to tell a friend, neighbor, or co-worker and help us to spread the laughter as far as we can. Or at least as long as we can hit you in our vomit range. So, from all of us here at That's Life Podcast, this has been Pete and Carl bidding you an adieu, an adieu, and friends don't let friends shit in their ass, adieu. <laughs>